Today's Quick Tip Trello Tuesday is going to be all about sorting cards that are assigned to you or that are in some way labeled as being these are cards that you want to, you know, focus on or that you want to be aware of. And I actually received a question, I'm gonna share the question over here, by one of the viewers on a recent Trello video that I had created um, that actually prompted this video. So I also wanted to let you know that if you have any questions relating to Trello, don't forget to leave them in the comments for any of the Trello videos that I've created, and I'll be happy to address them on a future Trello Tuesday video for you. So I'm going to show you how there's a couple of different ways that you can kind of assign a card to yourself and how to go about sorting those in the simplest way to your, sort them in the simplest way so that you can easily find them. And at the very end of the video, I'm also going to share with you how you can go about finding cards that are assigned to you across all of your boards, not just in a specific board, but across all of your boards. So stay tuned, and I'm going to share that with you right now. Okay, so we are in one of my Trello boards, and I'm going to just show you a couple of the easiest ways to go about sorting cards that are somehow identified as being cards that you want to be aware of. So the first way you can go about doing this is creating a label that is specifically assign, you know, assign a label to yourself. And so how you can go about doing this is you can use this little pencil icon and you can edit the labels here. Now you can easily create new names for the labels by clicking on these pencil icons and naming it whatever you want to name it. And then just you know selecting the color that you would like to use as well. And then once you've assigned a label or created a label, you can either click on it to um, uncheck, or I guess unassign yourself or undo that label, or you can click on it to make sure that label is showing. And so that is one way to go about a seeing cards that are easily, you know, identified for yourself. And so how you can go about sorting the cards that have your label. And also when you first create a label, what will probably what it will probably look like is this. So if you actually want to see your labels, all you have to do is just click on it and you can easily see your label. Now to sort a card within your board, you can just go to show menu. Oops, I'm gonna go back. So this will be what will come up when you click on menu and you're going to go into search cards. Now you can easily sort by cards that are assigned to your label by clicking it. And you can easily just see just the cards that have your label. So those are specifically only the cards that have your label, but you can see at the top how many cards are actually within that particular list so that you know you can easily see that there's more cards within that list. Now to um, remove it so that you can see all cards, you can either click on your um, I, um, label here or you can click on the X up here as well. So let's undo that and then another way you can assign cards to yourself is literally to assign a card to yourself and how you go about doing that is you can click on the little icon again you can go to change members and you can actually select yourself as an assignee for this particular task so you can either click on it to assign yourself or unclick it to unassign yourself and how you can easily go about sorting by cards that are specifically assigned to you is very similar to what we just did before. You go to show menu and you would scroll down here to the member section. If you had other members that you invited into your board, you could also sort by their name as well. But to sort by your name, by cards assigned to you, you would just click on your icon um, or your you know, avatar here, and you can see all of the cards 
These are specifically ones that just have my name or my icon. These were ones that I was assigned to. And then to undo that again, you can either select the X over here or you can um, select your name over here. Now the, the specific question that I got was related to um, custom fields. So with a free board, you can have only one power up and a power up, you can see your power ups from your main menu here. So you ha I, I have the power up of custom fields in order to do what I have, what I'm gonna show you. Now, if you have a custom field that you want to assign as the primary project owner, so we created a custom field here and I just clicked on custom fields and I clicked on a new field and I just made this a checklist um, or a, a what I call it, a checkbox one. And I just labeled it primary project owner and I just checked a couple of them that I wanted to have as the primary project manager. Now in order to sort by these, by the custom field, you actually, it's not as easy as the other options. You actually have to come to show menu, go to search cards as well, and actually type in primary project owner so that those cards are specifically showing if you just want to see only those cards. The question that I got actually related to um, having a board button as well to be able to sort your cards. Now, to be able to sort the primary project owner field. Now this is not as easy as the other options and I highly recommend the other options to be able to sort and easily um, find your cards that are assigned to you. But you can go into where it says Butler and you can create a board button. And the board button that I created, and let me just show you what I did. So I just had this as cards assigned to me and what I had to do in order to do this was I had to come to where it says sort and I actually had to select this one here. So I had to actually go and click on today's to do's with the custom field of primary project owner in ascending order. Um, and then you can add also them by due date or other options as well. And then I had to add that. And then I had to go to each list and add that into the, the card, I'm sorry, the board button as well. So you can see that each of the lists are identified here. And so what happens then is if I click on, so this is now your board button cards assigned to me. If I click on this, then this will just sort the primary project owner ones to the top. Now you will be able to see all your other cards. So if that's okay with you, then that's perfectly fine. But your primary project owner cards would show at the, up at the top of each of these lists. So that's how you can go about doing it that way if that's something that you want to do. Now to see all cards assigned to you across all boards, you would just go to your main Trello board, or I'm sorry, main Trello dashboard. So by clicking on this little Trello option at the top, and then you would actually come into where it says, you know, your identifier here, and you would click on cards. Here is all of the cards that are assigned to me. So these are specifically ones that are assigned to me across all my different boards. And it shows what list they're in. Um, and then the, I'm sorry, this is the, yeah, list and then the board. And you can see here that there is several, um, you can see overdue cards due in the next day and cards due within seven days next month and then due date met so this is an easy way for you to easily see all your cards across all your boards if you wanted to sort just by ones that are assigned to you now this is you specifically have to assign the card to you as a member of you have to actually be a member of the card in order to see it on this view 
So I hope that was helpful for you if you're trying to easily find cards that are assigned to you either within a board or across all your boards. So I just want to just remind you, if you do have any questions relating to Trello, I will be happy to answer any of your questions. Feel free to leave them in the comments below. And also, if you are interested in learning more about Trello or also about different ways that you can create efficient systems and practices and different ways that you can live a more organized, stress-free lifestyle. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell next to it so that you can be notified when my next video comes out. And I share videos on Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays as well. So just wanted to let you know. And thanks again for tuning into this video, and I will see you next time.